Happy Monday, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Hey, do you remember the question, what would you do for a Klondike bar? I know, that was a stupid commercial, but it, it posed a serious question. What will you actually do to be successful? What will you do to get what you want? Uh, well, in today's world, people are doing all kinds of, of amazingly idiotic things to get attention, to be famous. You know, you used to talk about your 15 minutes of fame. Now it's, you know, how do you get likes on Facebook? How do you get noticed and followers on Instagram so that you can become a social media influencer and, and uh, gain all that notoriety and that power? Well, here's the thing. Scripture speaks to success. I mean, it actually tells you how to be successful in the sight of God and people. And, and if we'll listen to God's wisdom, it will inform our lives in amazing ways. So listen to Proverbs chapter 3. Now, I know almost everybody knows or, or has heard Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6. I want you to hear the verses right before that. Overlooked verses that I think are incredible if we want to be successful. Listen to what God says through the writer of Proverbs. He says, let not steadfast love and faithfulness forsake you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart so that you will find favor and good success in the sight of God and man. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. In fact, consider them so important that, that they're like they're tied around your neck, that they're you know, written on your heart, that, that there's no way that they uh, can ever be separated from you. So your keys to success are love and faithfulness. I mean, you know how important love is, especially if you ever pay attention to the Word of God. The great commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength. The second is like it, to love your neighbor as yourself. You're not going to be successful in life, at least in the eyes of God and people, if you're not a person of love. So develop your heart for God. Worship Him. Pray. Read the Bible. That's why we're encouraging you, even through the daily word. And, and, and then, you know, love people. By the way, love is patient and love is kind. It's not how you feel about people. It's what you do to, uh, when you're interacting with people. It's how you treat people. Are you patient? Are you kind? And then faithfulness. Faithfulness means being a person of integrity. It, it means that you speak the truth in love. You don't, you don't play the games and lie and flatter and do all that stuff. It means that you show up when you said you were going to show up. That, that you're there because you promised to be there. It means being honest and being trustworthy to God, to yourself, and to others. So, do you want to be successful? Then let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. You'll find favor and success with God and people. But here's the thing. It won't guarantee you your 15 minutes of fame. It won't guarantee you 100,000 likes or followers on social media. But God guarantees a lifetime of favor and success in the ways that really matter. So uh, I hope this blesses you, and I hope you choose wisdom over the route of being an idiot. God bless, and have a great day.